Hi everyone, welcome to my channel once again. My name is Mrs. Easy and I'm here again to chat it up with you guys. And I talk about relationship, faith, lifestyle, um, dating, um, you know, all sorts of things. The most watched video on my channel is my immigration um, video. If you keep connected to this channel, you'll find a way to get some analytics to that let us know you know how many people are subscribers that are watching and how many people are not subscribers there is a good 80 percent of people that watch my videos that are not subscribers so while you're here you might as well click that subscribe button and every time i post you get a notification today i am not talking about immigration video but i am following up on another video that i did about two three years ago now oh my god yes three years ago I did this video in 2018 with my sister-in-law and my brother. Um, then they were not married. They were just about getting married. And um, funny thing, now that I'm doing this video, it's their anniversary um, period. So yeah, so what a nice time to do a follow-up video. So I'm gonna link the video um, to this one and it's titled Over 25 and Not Married. Yes. Um, at the time I recorded this video, I was, I believe, 30 years old. And now I just turned 33. So a little background on that is I got married in 2018, January 2018. So that means makes me almost four years in marriage. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. But um, I'm going to give you guys some tea about what I'm learning about marriage. That will be another video. But today I want to talk about um not married and you're over 25 maybe i should kind of move it towards like you're not married and you're over 30 because i think 25 is that sweet spot that society is like okay a girl should be married at 25 but um yeah society is kind of changing now because they're like it's okay to get married later and all that good stuff so it's like all right maybe the nerve comes up when you're above 30 now maybe not 25 or maybe the expectations have shifted right um, I didn't do any um, statistic um, research on that, but it's just what I'm noticing. So I believe in that video, I did um, interview my brother and said, you know, how did he know that his wife was the one? And how did she also know that um, her husband was the one? Um, I also asked like, you know, how was it going through the dating scene? And, you know, both of them coincidentally said patience is needed, right? Now dating, over 25 over 30 um what you should be looking at what you should be thinking about um mostly from a woman's perspective i can't speak for a man but i can maybe insert a little bit of thought process from my husband and even from my my male friends um so it still stands true that patience is definitely needed however um I believe me and my sister-in-law then still talked about when you're being patient and waiting for the man, what are you doing in the time, in your time of waiting, right? Um, so I think it's gone beyond, you know, focusing on your accomplishments, um, focusing on being the kind of wife you would like to be, focusing on, you know, there's a lot, but I think from a woman's perspective, it's more so like how open are you to the different kind of dating now? are open on you with being introduced to somebody because the thing is what happens is you know there's this joke that used to go around and it's like when you first start out dating you have this list of what you're looking for in a man right and then as you get older the list kind of changes and that is so true funny or not but like i believe the things i was looking for at the age of 25 was totally different from what i was looking for at the age of 29. like my thing was do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes. Do you go to church? Are you a Bible believing Christian? Yes. Next thing was, do you have a job? Because ain't nobody was going to date nobody that did not have no work experience. That was my requirement. And yours can be different. However, you need to figure out like, are you being too picky? Right? Because there's this thing where a lot of women believe we deserve what we deserve and we wait until we find what we deserve. I don't think that mindset is a good one because the thing is, um, you might think you deserve Shaquille O'Neal. I can't, I can't fight you for what you deserve, right? You can believe whatever you want to believe. However, let's come back to reality. There are a lot of women that are looking for the kind of men that kind of don't exist or already married. 
so it's like now you're trying to figure out you know what are my non-negotiables right so there are things that you know like for a fact you are not bending on it's like like me if you were not a christian not even a christian if you were not a bible believing christian like if i don't see the fruits of christianity in you um i had no business with you sir so that was non-negotiable i don't care if you were a millionaire i don't care if you had the best job but that was my one thing that was just like oh no like i wouldn't even bother um so for me i wanted to be evenly yoked that was my biggest thing so and i'm not saying like, like i mean there's some people that you know that's negotiable so that's, there's some people that are okay with dating people that are not in the same religion as them and your, your choice is your choice if you're like above um 25 um maybe above 30 i think you should go back and review what you don't want because i think i truly believe knowing what you don't want is better than knowing what you want um so so that when you see it you know how to move on swiftly however you also there's this sweet thin line between knowing what you want and being picky so you don't want to get older older and then your pickiness drops down and then the people that would have made the list or even made the top five are now married and they kind of don't want you After you're 30 like right, so. you're 30 and you're in a relationship with somebody for like forever and you're not sure if you guys are gonna get married like sis <laughs> i don't know man that's not me that's not my story um if you've watch my channel you know that you know i went straight to the point because ain't nobody was playing no games however now i did have different things that were gonna help me through that process of narrowing down and knowing that okay this is the person i would love to spend so dating right now my goodness like i think if you are not open to being introduced to somebody before you might want to consider um and um if you were not open to online dating you might want to consider because Online dating gives you the opportunity to win the shop for men, right? And hopefully meet somebody good. Um, there are people that have had terrible experiences with um, online dating, but please make sure you're keeping safety. I've talked, I'm gonna link my video up there where I talk about online dating, like the precautions you have to take, right? So I think the things you need to keep in mind is knowing your non-negotiables, the things that you are not bending on. Um, no matter what, right? Um, and then knowing, um, you know, what you are speaking your expectations really because there are a lot of people that are dating and they think that when they get married, it's going to be the same. There's, there's a little off button that turns on when you get married. Like, is the, oh, you're the provider and I'm the helper. Or, oh, no, we're equal. Or, oh, no, we're, you believe me. Oh, no. Look. Yeah, I got to talk about these things. Let's talk about the conversations you're supposed to be having over 25. How about that? Conversations like how many kids do you want? Because if I'm 30, don't be expecting me to give you six children. Like, bro, how we... Um, what is our income bracket? What do we hope our income bracket is going to be? Like, these are real questions, man. Like, okay, if I have health issues, how do you think you will handle that? Um... And when it comes to kids, um, do you want kids? How bad do you want kids? <laughs> because there's some people that it's like, as soon as we get married, let's get it on and popping. Um, so these are conversations you're supposed to be having. Like, no, like go on dinner and whatnot, but get the fluff out the way and get into the real stuff. Um, like if we were going to get married, how long do you plan on dating? How many people are you dating? Um, yeah, this got real, real quick, right? Um, yeah, but the thing is, when you're over 25... You still got a little bit of time, but when you're over 30, it's like, come on, clock is ticking. Men don't got no clocks, women do. <laughs> um, and it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's unfair, life is unfair, and all, the, all that good stuff. But, sister, are you open to dating somebody outside the country? Do you mind doing long-distance dating? Long-distance dating is not for the faint, but if you meet a really good person out there, are you willing to you know, make that sacrifice. These are things you got to just think about. Um, and yeah, I just want to give you guys this little, you know, just, um, because I definitely, definitely, you know, just thinking back and seeing that, okay, the decision I made and how I made my decision is like, 
yo it's paying off because to be honest i the thing is you have to know yourself know thyself i know myself my patience level is very thin i don't got patience so guess what i'm not going to be able to sit there and teach you how to use a computer that is not me so i needed somebody to know how to do that i was not down for no businessman that i did not know the business you was doing mm. so i like i narrowed a lot of things down like the looks are great the dressing up is great looking fly is great but if up here ain't nothing in there i cannot work with you bro so you gotta know what you're looking for mostly know what you don't want so when you see them you'll be like let's move on to the next person please ladies stop letting this man waste your time don't be with nobody for 10 years waste your youth with them and then they break up and get married to somebody else after six months of breaking up with you don't do that please so i just want to chat with you guys whatever you can take from this video please take it because i see these women out here career driven phds and whatnot if you don't plan on being single you better get to it and also one thing i would like to um even talk about is the, the age difference between you and your partner do you do you mind a huge age difference do you mind a small age difference um that's something you got to think about because there's this generational difference right i don't know like the gen z the millennial the gen x i don't know but these are things you got to think about. And ladies, I'm sorry to put pressure on you. We don't got time. Like, I laugh and joke with people and say, you know, I had my daughter, I mean, um, at the age of 32, right? I had my daughter last year. And I'm like, yo, I know it would be different if I had my daughter, like, at the age of 25. I'm sure it would be different because these days your girl be tired and I only got one. So... And I'm 33 now. So, yeah. So, let's um, get started with this. If there are guys trying to talk to you, don't just flag them off. Except you really know that this person is just, uh, you know, mm. don't, like, you know, be patient. Look, date. And don't be locking yourself up with one man if you want to be married in the next two years. Don't be in a relationship for longer than six months if you already know this is not going to work. If you already know he's not serious. There's so many things I can talk about. But, like, we got to get smart out here. And don't always be chasing money. There's some money that is disgusting. There's some money that come with abuse. There's some money that come with all types of disgrace. So you got to pick your battles. If you're okay with that kind of money and you can take all the crap that comes with it, God has this. I'm rooting for you. Do you? But if you can't, don't waste your time. Stop wasting your time, ladies. This man could have kids until they're in the grave. We can't. I know Sarah and Abraham, like, you know, they pushed it. Like, God did that. But how many cases of Sarah and Abraham have you heard about um, in 2021? Not that many. So, let's get it, ladies. I just want to reach out to you guys and just, like, chat up with you guys. Hopefully, I can get more into detail with these conversations and maybe even have, like, a sit down with somebody and talk about this stuff. But, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you are not yet subscribed, click that subscribe button. And I hope you enjoyed this content. All right, ladies. Bye.